Hello, my name is Ame Achu David. I am from Togo, but I'm based in Liberia and I work for Global Fund for Children. My focus has always been on the adolescents, particularly the adolescent girls. Uh, so we have, um, we talk about youth, but I think there's a big group that is often missing and that's the adolescent girls. And when we, what we mean by adolescent girls is really from 12, even sometimes younger, uh, to 19, uh, that go through the problems, the, face a lot of situations when they enter their adolescence and just want the space to express themselves, but usually don't have it. So my call to action is that we need to create the space for that group of adolescents to also express themselves and, and lead their own advocacy. The second call to action is that the young people do not live in a silo. They are, they are part of a community and there is a need to, uh, to support that community to understand the issues that the young people face and create an enabling environment for those young people to uh, enjoy their rights. Uh, because sometimes we talk about youth, but we forget that they are in an ecosystem that affects them every day. And if we don't work on parents, we don't work on the government, we don't work on uh, the school systems, it will be difficult to really achieve the rights. Uh, those young people's rights. So we really have to work on that ecosystem. The other thing is really stressing also the role of the government. We talk a lot about sustainability, but it's only the governments that can make that sustainability possible. Um, running after funding is good, but the government, especially in Africa that I know, we need to hold them accountable. They need to use the money for the citizens. And if we as actors just go to the donors, the founders, then we allow our fund, our government to do whatever they want with the funding. So we really need to stress the need for our governments to be accountable to their citizens as a sustainability strategy. Oh, solidarity is very important because one person can do it, one organization cannot do it. Uh, and we need to all come together to unite our strengths to be able to achieve uh, the general the enabling environment, uh, the, all the objectives that we want for women. Men need to be on board. We can leave them out. They need to change their mindset about women. And then the women and men, boys and girls, need to always work together. In the sector, we need a government. We need, we need all the different groups uh, that have an influence on the young people to come together. Uh, NGOs, INGOs, we need to work more and more together instead of competing. So I'll look at first the national NGOs. There's too much competition for funding, and it's not necessary. We have to work, we are all working through, well, for the same uh, objectives. And everyone needs to look at what is my strength and we build that strength. The INGOs, I've really realized during the Women Deliver the importance of working together and building on one another. Some people develop tools, others are in research, others are funders, provide the money, others have capacity development. We all need to come together. And women, feminists, we really need that solidarity. Fighting among one another, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes we do fight and we need to realize that we are stronger when we unite and speak with one voice and support one another in kindness, you know, in understanding one another. So those are my messages for the solidarity and I look forward to it. I think we're doing a lot. We're growing in understanding what solidarity means and I'm hopeful that we will grow more and more.